like a fetid My name in this mouth like a dentist Hold up, just listen You would think that I lived in the kitchen with the beam I got precision, you ain't a man Here we go, ready to kill the show I'm excited Oh my god Right, the Fast and Furious. No, yes, I fuck with that song. You gotta go see it. It's the best movie ever. It was a really good movie. Like, you get pops where it's doing that movie. Like, really good. I was so mad after I saw it and I couldn't spoil it. Like, oh my God. How did you feel about the one you on the soundtrack, though? Like, when I found out? Yeah. It was still a surprise, but it was really random. Like, I didn't even think that that was even an option for real. No, when it came out, I was like, oh. I mean, you're we gonna ask them, of course. Yeah, not just that, we working though. Like, this shit really hard work. Shout out my manager. Of course. I remember when I first met y'all, the I called and she was like, y'all realize it came a long way. It like, came a long way. We had our ups and downs, our in and outs, our fucking sad times, good times. Like, it's so fucking amazing to be living this dream with him. It's my baby. So this is the second song you did with Lil Yashi, right? Oh, we have like five, five, six songs. Oh yeah. shit! This just the only one that came out. You feel me? Yeah. Who coming before you tonight? Uh, Lenny Bennett. I like that blue. She been wearing it. She look good as well. You ever did any work with her? No. Oh, yeah. I think she's like just as busy as I am. Like. When you a female rapper, you gotta put in twice as much work as everybody else. So, you know what I'm saying? Collabs don't just come out the cut. Like, you really gotta clear time for that shit. So. Nah, dead ass or dead ass. I mean, especially like last week, you were just in New York for the photo shoot for the Fast and Furious. I'm really excited. You wanna know why I'm so excited right now? Because this is the first weekend out of this month that I've been home. Like, it was LA, Atlanta, New York. And I just feel good to be in my city. You feel me? Like, living, like, everybody showing love, everybody supporting you. Well, I'm glad you're still loving the city, man, because you're definitely global now. Like, you realize you can't even say you're a DD artist no more. You're global. <laughs> I be looking on Twitter, right? You be in California. Think, I don't think I'm global just yet. Rico, you know, you're it's global. It's still some moves that I have to make on the city. Like, I'm still trying to make moves on the city. Like, I'm still trying to make moves on the city. Like, I'm still trying to make moves on the city. How far you have went, like? Right. I remember last year. I remember year, I had them dusty ass ponytails. Alright, like, they weren't they weren't dusty, but I remember the ponytails. Definitely, like came. I like grew into myself. That's the best part of my audience. Cause when I first started, I didn't know where I wanted to go, but now I know exactly where I want to go, exactly where I want to do, exactly where I'm gonna be. And where is that? At the top. At the top. You gonna kill the female rap man? Oh, I mean, I can, but everybody plays the part. Everybody is yeah. killing that shit right now. Some bitches on the hating slide, but most bitches is really working and yeah. doing what the fuck they gotta do to make a name for themselves. I mean, at the end of the day, fuck the haters. You doing your damn thing. Like, let them hate. Look at you. Right? Like, what the <laughs> fuck, bitch? Look at this. Oh, you no. Know, oh, whoa. The, I don't, is that the legendary gold teeth you were getting notes about? All right, tell me about that real quick. Well, I fucking love these. Are those like implanted or is that a girl? Yeah, it's real. Like implanted? Oh, my diamond. Yeah. I took it out. I took it out just so that people could see that it doesn't mess up your teeth. Yeah. I'm going to put it back in though. But I definitely, I like this. Took it off with the little remover thing that she gave me. So what shows you got next? What show? Yeah. Well, I think since we've been traveling so much, my manager is trying to put everything on hold yeah. because we don't know where we're going to be. Like a lot of times we have meetings in other states and stuff like that. So how can I schedule a show around that? And then we have a sweet 16 private party. 
Oh yeah, you were bruh. And I saw you on Twitter with Neil Scrappy, bruh. I was like, whoa, like that's, that's big. That was so much fun. They was dancing nonstop, like I was getting tired. I was like, oh my God, I cannot keep up with y'all, like. They was dancing like shit. She had such a great birthday, and her parents are fucking awesome. Like, they were so amazing, and just, they just wanted to see her smile. And that shit was beautiful. Did you know those copies were going to be there beforehand or like did you find out last minute? He actually reached out to me on Instagram. Yeah, oh for him? Yeah. Lil like, Scrappy did himself? Yeah. Oh, he was like, I, my daughter loves your music. And I was like, and you know, what did you think she would like somebody else's music? No, she like mine. Okay, I'm going to go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That shit was her. Like, it was like, she was like, it's showtime. Woo! Showtime. Showtime. My brother, this is my big brother, Gabe. Uh, it's so good. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We got my man, Ace oh. Pistol, up in that motherfucking house. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. We told y'all. Shh. <laughs> niggas in trouble. Niggas in trouble. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. Y'all Who you think you're fooling? Smoking on this Cali gas, it got me too woozy. 